It's truly wonderful to connect with you today on this, the Jewish New Year. Today, as in years past, we collectively stand on the cusp of something new. But this year, we're physically distant, separate in our own homes. And so many of us have felt an unsettling sense of isolation during this pandemic. Singles, seniors, students, and really everyone has had to shelter in place for months now. It's so bad that teenagers even want to go to school. Everyone longs for human connections that once were so easily part of our lives. Bumping into friends in town, enjoying a family gathering at a restaurant, or drinks out with friends without the dreaded fear of breathing the same air as everyone else. People have become tired of isolation, which reports show lead to loneliness, depression, anxiety, chronic stress, and insomnia. All of these conditions have devastating effects, not only on mental, but also on our physical well-being. However, we still know that during this deadly coronavirus pandemic, going outside or eschewing physical distancing guidelines can be catastrophic for us and others in our community. And so we stay home. These past six months have defined 5780 as the year of chilling isolation. And we were never meant to be alone. In fact, we learn in today's Torah portion, Bereshit, that it is lo tov heyot adam levado, it is not good for the human being to be alone. But are we as alone as Adam first was in the Garden of Eden? Sure, from an immediate narrow view of our existence, yes, we are isolated. Even the introverts have noticed. But in the grand scheme of things, the Jewish people is a people that is connected. For example, during this pandemic, people have created an online Jewish geography trivia game that has been fun and comforting to participate in because it reminds us that we really are connected, even if apart. We also continue to add new connections every day. For example, engaged couples have still affirmed the sacred bonds of marriage under the chuppah in wide open public places, sometimes with masked strangers walking past. New parents have organized great Zoom gatherings to welcome their baby into the Jewish community. During the ceremony, we acknowledge that the child is not simply birthed into the wide world, but into a sacred network of community. And so too is it with each of us. We are a part of a web of connection much, much bigger than ourselves. We couldn't be isolated if we tried. Many of us have made or received calls from loved ones who maybe we haven't spoken with, or seen with any frequency pre-pandemic. And we're now taking this opportunity as a real opportunity to connect, even if we are not in person. We are not as alone as Adam. There are others around with whom we can connect. Still, sometimes in darker moments of isolation, we might feel as if we're the only one experiencing the pandemic in this terrible, lonely way. But even then, we can turn to Jewish communities who have experienced a pandemic in the past. Here's one personal account of Rabbi Chaim ben Betzalel. He wrote from Friedberg near Frankfurt under the circumstances of a great plague known as the Black Death. The fascinating thing about this text is how it rings true today. He writes, it was the year of 1578 when the Almighty redeemed my soul from death. Death appeared in the windows of my house. I and my children in the midst of the crazy time remained inside our homes and the doors of our homes were shut for two months. No one was going out or coming in and I was crowned with the craziness of the time and the worries. And if I thought to myself, where can I flee to? To the Jewish book is where I'll go. Where else can I go? It's a protection against punishment and a place of refuge and protection against the angel of death. At 
at a time when a person's heart goes down to the depths and is clouded with concern, when the air is thick with disease, then there is nothing better than when a person's heart should be drawn to agada, the stories of our people. The words of agada should replace the daga. Daga means concern. Agada should replace daga. The stories are intended to be pleasant statements so people will benefit. All those who are burdened down with the problems of our times will find comfort in them. I will speak it and it will be a breath of fresh air. This Rabbi Chaim ben Betzala lived nearly 500 years ago. He lived 5,700 miles away from where I'm sitting right now, yet I feel a deep connection to him. He described how death surrounded him as it is for us, the isolation, the worry. But he found respite in the texts of our tradition, learning the stories of hardship and triumph of our people. Learning the agada of our people was the antidote to the da'aga, to the worry of his heart. I have found such comfort in this truthful sentiment. Unearthing our people's stories with each of you who have participated in our text studies has had the same effects that are inoculating for me. When I set out to study Daf Yomi back in January, I wanted to connect with the 2,000-year-old text. I also wanted to add my voice to the commentary to renew its relevance to the world today. That was a noble pursuit in and of itself. But then, the community began to coalesce around continents and across continents and oceans. Moreover, we began to form true connections with one another. And with all of this, I felt pride and fulfillment that we were continuing the Jewish tradition of connectedness even during our generation's time of separation. And this connected community formed during this time of pandemic has contemplated the grit, endurance, and strength of our people in the past. Each of these stories inspire us into feeling our own capacities for resilience in the presence. Like them, we will get through this together. So up close, we may feel isolated in very real ways. But if we zoom out our perspective across time and space, we will find deep connections. This reminds me, and may it remind us too, that we are not completely isolated. We are connected. May the new year bring us opportunities to further connect in real time. Even if physically distanced, we are profoundly connected. Lashana Tova.